we're going to do today is make a super bog designed by Roger Stollery out of Corex, which is a plastic material which has got a central core which is corrugated and two outers. And if you're clever, you can get it to be quite stiff. So what we've done is we've drawn out the the uh, the templates. So there's one template for that's the bottom, that's the transom, and that's the the valve. And uh, again, these are the sides, and this is a, the bend you make. And we're going to make this is what we're going to make. So that line there is this line here, and this line here is here, and that line there is there. So that's how that fits. Okay. Okay, so we draw around it and then we just mark those two points because that's a bend. Okay, it off. It's cheating as I did it earlier. Yeah, that's us. In true Barry Butmull style. Or even um no, Val Singleton. Anybody who's not uh, of our age will understand that. Or from the UK. Or from the UK. Yes, if you're watching this in Italy, we apologise in advance. Yes, very good, very good. <laughs> you can see it's relatively easy to, uh, to cut out. <clears throat> One of the things you've got to watch is when you're making a curve, it'll tend to push you away because the uh, we've orientated this so that 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 line on here is is follows the horizontal flutes, and this gives this uh, a stronger a stronger uh, pro, uh, side when you've bent it. Okay, so I'm going to now try and get this. That bit be important. Really, yes, that bit be important because if you don't, it's something people miss. Right, what we're going to do, we've got the straight edge along the line of the two dots we made earlier. Um, what we do is we take the round part of the Swan Morton knife. Those of you who haven't got Swan Morton, well, I'd love to find something that's round. Just do that once and bend it. And that's all you do. And making sure that you do a left and a right, because we're doing this for numpties. Say that because it's dead I'm, not, I'm not sure what you should be calling our audience. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's the side done. So we put that aside. Right, what we've done now is we've got our piece of corex on the corex and the flutes are going in this direction now, lengthways. So what we've done is we've lined it up on a flute there, we've lined it on a on a flute there. So same flute. Same, well, hopefully it's the same flute, yes. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not, you've got a problem. Oops. That went off a bit. And this is where we put the servo tray, which if you get them all the same in the same place, you can use the same the same uh, radio setup. So there's where the mask goes, so we just put that, and this is where the two pickups for the rudder go, and this is where the the uh, fin is. Okay. So all we've got to do now is cut that out. Look at the care and precision the man's taking over that. <laughs> well, 
Having said that, I haven't gone through quite. Shall we just uh, go over it again? Now on the opposite side to the one we've marked, we're going to make the first bend. It's important to try and get these at 90 degrees to do everything else for us. It don't work. second bend so that this is flush with that and then the top is flush again so you, when you make the second bend it's got to be the thickness of the corex inside that dimension so what we do is we just mark off that there and then come back the thickness of the corex and similarly here Mark that off and come inside it. So, again, kind of get it 90 degrees. So. The next bit is don't throw it on the floor, Peter. <laughs> it's very important. There is some stuff on these that uh, prevents really anything sticking to it. So what we have to do is something quite uh, radical. We have to get our butane torch out. And it's getting a bit old and decrepit. Now what we have to do is just, you see it's, it's got something on it, because it's gone like that. That's all we need to do on that. So we've got one side, we start with getting this joint right first and then we've worked forward with those pieces of tape and there's no glue on anything yet so let's get the other one in the same place everything's a little bit fluid at this point unfortunately but uh, you learn to live with it second one
put another one on the front, I think. I would leave it like that for a moment and then so we can get inside it. So we have the whole side zone and I'm just going to make sure this one is tight here. I'll put another piece of tape on. I'm going to do the same on the other side just to make sure that that bottom corner is because it's trying to twist it in two directions and of course the flutes are making it quite stiff because the, as we said before the flutes are not horizontal they are falling that line so get the, we're going to hot melt glue this together um, so it allows pretty rapid construction when we do that trying to do first is this one and I'm going to take that off so it's getting a bit easier it's not too clever this glove Just hold it there. So I can apply a little bit more pressure. If you haven't got a handy cameraman, you'll have to get your mum to help you. Yeah. It would help if this were working in an optimum way, but it isn't, so... OK, relax, let go. Thank you. Okay, so if you would be so kind, Mr. Shepherd, to do the same thing again while I uh, try I'll run over from the front. Uh, just, can you just put that side? Yeah. That's fine. I'm sure you're not showing that inside there, are you? You might be. Uh, okay, good. Gitcha. Let that go off now. Until it solidifies. Perhaps we're just a little bit more down the edges there, I've noticed. So you're pushing out until you get to the point where we've made the end of the of oh, that bit there. And then we get a, a nice friendly and hold it. And perhaps another friendly pin in there as well. In this case. So if you keep this up you'll be running the ne Mrs. Needle uh, box, won't you? Yeah I will, I'll be going and pinching some more pins because they're running low, <laughs> yes. Old fashioned aero model you see pins. What we haven't done on purpose 
at this point is we haven't bent the front down and we can do that now and again we want to be inside this line inside that line by the thickness of the corex I waited to do that so 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 a bit jiggly but Nearly right. It's nearly right. Okay. Right, so what we can do now is Put some down there and put some down here. Close it up. So we're attempting to seal this off before we actually put the tape on, which we'll seal it. So we're giving ourselves a double chance that it's going to be relatively watertight. I'll let that go off. And we'll do the other side. Smart a bit that, but you all knew that anyway, didn't you? Well, ostensibly, we've made the hole in twenty minutes. I'm just going to tidy up the uh, residue of the. I'm doing that with my famous little homemade tool. Sometimes it's easier to do.
do it without the whole main tool. And go back to basics. We're going to tape it up now. So we start with the bottom and we try and get it and we pull it slightly so it's tight and then we can very quickly do it down. The object of the exercise is to completely overlap everything where we can. might just finish that off with some super glue at the later stage. Okay. Why are we using red, Mr. Jackson? Well, we're using red, Mr. Shepherd, because it shows up. So we've got black, white and red. No particular uh, reason other than we add black, white and red. Slide it on there, just to reposition. a right tool makes all the difference and again pulling it slightly to get it to sort of slightly vulcanise and again overlapping the edges as much as we can Sure, that edge is down there. <coughs> and it's basically all the same now until we've come round everything.
starting to look good. Have we got any country that's got black, white and red in their flag? Probably Germany's one of, black and white. Probably one of the African countries, that's I suppose. Thing, yeah. Yeah. Wild guess. A wild guess. And the last piece of tape. Oh. <laughs> he rushes round. To, oh, you've got to, get it, got to get it where I can do it, mate. compare? Um, it's lighter than an ice. Uh, ice. Oh no, it's about an ice is about the same. About the same, it's about yeah. 55 isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. That's all that hot melt you put on it. Well, I mean it's more substantial. I mean, you know. <laughs> no, we could, I mean they're, they're, they're proliferating now. Yes, we, we have a Oh, a triposium of... Uh, triposium. Okay, we are at a tricky point now. When we've got my uh, measuring box for footies. And the, as you can see, it's got open size. And uh, we've got the the hole we've just made. And we've got one of Roger's fins already in. It's not glued. And as you can see, he's, he draws it so that the the, the bow and the, and the, and the transom are parallel in the box and therefore the fin is angled way back and in fact there are two marks here that we always use to line up the, the bottom of the fin so basically what we're saying is that when it's in the water it doesn't sit like that and it sits the water line just here and just here and it has a lot of rocker and this then becomes more vertical but still slightly back so if we put the, 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 the mast in now, you'll see it sticks forward quite a long way. Got to be quick with this, mate. Okay. Because if I'm not quick... I'll we'll get it in the hour, will you? Yeah. Yeah. We did make this early. We recycle parts of these things. What are you 
Go on, Peter. Go on, Peter. Right, now we'll put that back in there. Can I make a suggestion at this point? Oh, we can put the rudder on as well. Yeah, that was the suggestion I was going to make. The trouble is, we, 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 we can do it, but we'll do it this way. Just talk amongst yourselves while I get this all lined up. My, my friend here is starting to lose the way to leave. I am, I, it's, it's true. It's very true. Alright, what we do now, just wait a moment while I get another little piece of technical equipment out. From the past. All right. Yeah. That's got to be right now, you see, or it's got to be as right as it's going to be. Good, as good as you're ever going to get, isn't it? So for now, just mark it. Mark this side. I'll take it all off. All off, our Russian friends. Hopefully we haven't moved it, we haven't. So. Some uh, some hot milk glue on the inside. So we'll just always throw the mandrels away because they're getting tired and bits of aeroplanes. If you make real aeroplanes, right? Uh, we'll just check it. <laughs> uh, you said it all that. We have fun, don't we? I'm just trying to drop a. Oh, it's not this. I need just a little moment to heat up again. Just talk amongst yourselves. While well, we put things away. Thank you. 